Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. That was like the reach around of the century. <laughs> okay. And we're on. Oh, my God. Uh, I um, have been experimenting with coffee because I'm trying to not spend all my unemployment. And um, <laughs> I got... <laughs> I um you're like counting your pennies every time you go to the grocery store like <laughs> like you're the reason there's a shortage of coins in the US. <laughs> you're just like one, two. I'm literally that's literally me. <laughs> like I'm laughing but it's more of like a pain. Um I've been making cold it. brew though. I've been a uh, That's so cute. I got to get Dylan on that game. It's good. It's it's not that bullshit like um TikTok cold brew where they like get it in the bottle. Or whatever. Honestly, it makes me mad watching those. First, I thought it was cute, and now I'm like, I hate foam. And when I see them whip it into foam, I'm just like, you're making me mad. And I don't. It's me. <laughs> it's personal. I understand that. It just makes me mad. i <laughs> It's it's so stressful because I mean, like for me, like I mean, I just drink coffee black. I mean, this got some color in it because I um, I did a like a Starbucks cold foam kind of thing, a salted caramel cold foam. But that's like wait, the bougiest it's Wait, gotten. how did you do that? Because like, I don't want the foam, but I want all the cute phrases that they put in my little drink at Starbucks. I do want to know how to do that. And I feel like they put foam shit in the cold brew I get. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's literally just like whipping it in a blender. Like you throw like a cup of heavy cream, squirt of caramel, some sugar and salt, and then you just blend it until it's like whipped. And then you just throw it on top and it's done. That's it's really simple that simple. It sounds like a, like very daunting, but oh, this time I, mean, I need to not say like as much. I'm telling yeah. myself right now. We're rec- <laughs> editing accountability me. moment. <laughs> editing me. Watch yourself. Can you edit out every time I say literally? I want you to edit that out, and then it's going to turn an hour recording into a seven minute one. So no likes, <laughs> no literally. Boom, seven minutes. Easy to digest for everybody who's a millennial and younger. Yeah. Oh, that would be Bug. that'd be a trip. That's like those videos. The um, what was it? Uh, every time Shrek says um, "donkey" in the entire movie, and it's just like a bunch of cuts of him saying, or every time Shrek says "and," and the movie's oh, like twenty so minutes, it's up. just like "and and 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 and." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Uh... I can't, you know, and when you take like a public, have you ever taken like a communications course or like public speaking or anything like that? Like, you know, bullshit classes in college. Um, That was rude. Um, (laughs) Yeah. They teach you all these methods to like lessen the amount you're doing those things. And I've learned nothing. So I don't know. I just felt like I had to give myself a rap sheet, but also credit. I don't know. No, um, you're yeah. So, still gonna use filler sounds and statements and stupid. I'm just a peanut gallery, like mostly meant to be ignored. Yeah. No. I mean, you're like Loki calling me out because <laughs> when I went to college, went. Um, <laughs> uh, it was for a communications degree. Shut up. And I'm <laughs> like <laughs> that. Uh, you know that I useless mean, class that you were just talking about. Um. No, but it served me no, you know, no purpose because I just say like all the time and and use those conjunction words like (laughs) way too fucking much, all those fillers. I mean, you know, it's a conjunction. I just know that they told me this is the only thing I retained and that I use on on like a semi irregular basis, I guess, is like, there it is again. Um. When you're about to go, you know how people get like the the willies or something like right before they have to talk in front of a group or a, a more than three people, basically, sometimes you get a little like, ugh, like weird. Mm. They said the best thing to do in those moments is like flex your leg muscles and like, because <laughs> it pulls the blood away from your head or something so you can think a little better. And I don't, it's probably bullshit, but that sounds like at least, at least I'm focusing on that. So that was like. It? What I used to do when I had <laughs> <laughs> that was what I used to do when I had an erection in class. I'd like <laughs> I'd like 
I'd squeeze both my legs together because I heard that like the the blood flow it would come uh, it would take it out of your dick and into your legs and it actually worked. Really? Um, how worked long did really you have well. to? How long did you have to flex your legs for? Um, like a, knowing a that I'm uh, knowing that I'm hung like a horse, it took maybe <laughs> like thirty minutes for any sort of like chub to go away. <laughs> I mean, when you have gallons of blood, like, in between your legs, you're like, fuck, I'm, I'm starting to feel faint, you know, yeah, you control yeah. it. The only reason yeah. why I sound, like, semi-coherent during these recordings is because I'm just not hard at all. When I'm hard <laughs> as fuck, I just turn into, like, a zombie, because all of my blood's in my dick. You just start, like, melting down the chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, oh but my God. college, what a fucking trip. Yeah, communications, I knew it was bullshit. Um, what was it? A semester, Is that why you signed up? A semester in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I realized it's like, what the fuck am I going to use this for? They literally don't even hide it when you're in, like, communications class. Like, they don't even, like, they don't really tell you what it's applicable for. They're like, it's kind of just a, I, I spent a fuck ton of money in college, and I have a paper to prove it pretty much communications i don't even get what it's about like if i'm going to take a literal interpretation of what i think communications is is okay communications implying that there's a lot of different kinds of communication i would think it'd be like language barriers uh how to break the ice with people who don't speak your language like i don't know like fucking i don't know name games and shit and maybe something to do with like international relations or something so like if you know you're working for the u.n Maybe you could read body language better. I don't fucking know. I just always thought that's kind of what it was. Yeah. And I was pretty, I don't know, just confused in general. So I, mean, I wasn't about to sign up for that degree, not really knowing what it's about. No. You, you definitely <laughs> saved some cash. Well, and plus I'd just be swearing the whole time. Well, I mean, I do anyways, but I just... Imagine me with a communications degree, and I don't really know what those people do, but um, again, I just picture politics and like the United Nations. So imagine me in the United Nations, like I'm in the little desk seat. I look just like all the other men that are in the room because it's all men. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, okay, and uh, communications degree Katie. (laughs) (laughs) What do you think about this, that, and the other thing? And then I'd just be making like jokes about fucking pop culture like it's just, they're like that's irrelevant and can you please leave and i'll be like okay like that's all it will be you definitely be fucking embarrassing you'd definitely be like um the new hire to um, bring some youth <laughs> onto the scene they're and everyone assumes i'm a temp or like yeah some menial job i just get coffee for people no, yeah. and then you you make like half the salary that everybody else does. So you're really just oh a like, quarter, and I'm just honestly happy to be there because we get to travel. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're yeah, running no. off of sheer spirit. Oh my god! Oh my god! I would be a fucking mess if I was in politics. Like, not a force to be reckoned with, but not a force worth I think acknowledging at all. Honestly, <laughs> I. If we're like, I don't even know what I would do. No, for, if we if we're talking like real talk, real honesty, honesty hour, um, mm-hmm. I feel like you would do really well in politics. Not because you know a ton about this country or because you're like politically <laughs> inclined, but I think you would you would play it like a game. Oh, I would for sure. I was a one thing I was about to say, and then you started talking, and I forgot about it. Oh, for sure, it'd be a game. It'd be a silly <laughs> game. I'd be acting. <laughs> I'd be an actress. That's uh, the effect of uh, people listening to me talk. I just, <laughs> I make them go brain dead. It's something about the frequencies in, in my voice because I was EQing some like harsh frequencies out of your voice and I went to, to mine for my mic and I lost like five hours editing and I'm like and it's it was like blackout and then I'm like wow it's midnight and I started at like five I guess that's six and I realized I'm like wait a minute <laughs> is this how people feel when they talk to me they just gloss over and they did lose you just, like, track of time yourself? I think I did <laughs> that's why um, it took me so long to put out the first fucking episode you just like dazed in a yeah. weird state um speaking of hypnosis you ever been hypnotized i wanted to so bad because i had the opportunity at my senior 
what is that called? Senior party? Oh, yeah. High senior school? night or something like Whatever. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, anyway, they hired a hypnotist. And um, what they do is it's just nothing but, like, pizza, donuts, soda. Um, and they had coffee there, too. Like, they had, like, like 12, 18, like, cups of, like, Dutch Bros Frappuccinos. Wow, Frappuccinos. Um, blended beverages or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks sponsored. Um, and I got so fucking hopped up on sugar and carbs. I was so whacked that I, like, couldn't fall into that state of hypnosis where they tell you to, like... They'll sit you down and they're like, okay, I need you to inhale, exhale. With each breath, you're falling deeper and deeper into sleep. And I'm just like, <laughs> like jacked out of my mind, grinding my teeth because I, we didn't have that kind of sugar in my house. So it was just like, it was really sad. I, I, cause like he, he did the thing where he um, was like, if you're not fully, you know, um, into it whatever please stand up and sit back in the audience and i'm like i'm not gonna like i was a theater kid but i'm not about to like play (laughs) like i'm hypnotized like i wanted to get hypnotized you wanted it to be for real yeah um i mean it's legit i did it with a, a therapist like a few years ago and it was like weird because it like i don't even how do I even describe it? It was just like, like, obviously you're in this like cozy recliner and you lean back and I'm like, dude, I'm for sure going to pass out. Like, I'm just going to fall asleep. Like, this is all it's going to be. Yeah. But then when she does have an amazing voice and it's like, it's a really quiet room. You're not going to hear like people walking by or something like that. So I just kind of like, you, you kind of end up like, it's almost like daydreaming, but with your eyes closed. And mm. it's like, you're, she's your therapist or whoever is your hypnosis person. They like guide you through it and they kind of paint the picture for you. So it's like, imagine you're playing a video game, but it's you, and they tell you what the scene is, I guess. And and then you still have, like, choice as to, like, where you're going to go, what you're going to do, whatever, in the location she, like, paints a picture for. Like, nothing really pops up of your own imagination. Does that make sense? Like, she'll walk you in the woods, and you you go to this building, and da-da-da. Like, but there's certain details that your brain's allowed to come up with, because she's not painting the entire picture. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it was weird. It's sort of weird, but I I'm always so try to. Do you ever try the um, either the not the guided meditations, but like the hypnosis type stuff on Spotify or uh, just like YouTube channels? Oh, I don't, I don't know why I'm so turned off by that. Maybe it's because every time I see it, it's an ad, so it's just like they're always trying to rope you, and it's like, hi, how would you like to have <laughs> the best sleep of your entire life? It's like okay, like. I'm not sleeping. I'm on TikTok right now. So like (laughs) swipe. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's really awful ones. And then there's a very few couple of good ones and you definitely have to have no ads and you definitely have to turn your autoplay off because you're going to pass out at some point. Mm -hmm. Some of them are pretty weird. I mean, I'm not going to like, I don't know, but maybe I'm just falling asleep. I'm probably just falling asleep. That's probably, I'm probably not even hypnotized. Maybe you are entering a state of hypnosis just before you fall asleep. Now, let me ask you this. How have your dreams been since you've started like these hypnosis guided sleep sessions? I feel like I don't dream during those. I don't know why. Like normally I if I dream, I remember it Mm -hmm. every detail every single time. But since using the guided meditation or the hypnosis meditation bullshit like to fall asleep um i just don't dream like that's nothing's gonna happen i don't know you'd think you'd have like crazy dreams like like very vivid lucid dreams because you're you know you know what but then again i smoke weed at night that's what it is that turns off your brain wave thingy that does the dreams so i bet if i didn't do it as often as I do, like at nighttime, I probably would just have a fuckload of dreams because that's what I heard happens. Yeah. Um, have you been like dosing daily or do you like? I mean, I usually often... smoke at night, like right before bed. So, but is it usually like every day? Uh, every day. Okay. Yeah. So like you're if I definitely. Miss a day, that's weird. You're definitely in that like sweet recipe for like crazy vivid dreams. So, what I would mm-hmm. do is if you end up wanting to like. Um, turn yourself into a science experiment. You should oh, definitely um, 
start a dream journal like a week ahead continue like smoking doing whatever your normal routine is but like try to rec- like recollect any sort of like even if it's just a color or if it's like a face or a name or like literally anything get your like your brain started thinking about and like recognizing things in your dreams and then like stop weed cold turkey and that whole week you should have like crazy fucking dreams and since you've already trained your brain to start thinking about recognizing shit you should have like crazy dreams like crazy vivid shit. dreams that sounds like a like a workshop or like a cute little convention thing i don't know that wasn't even nope <laughs> it's, it's it's literally it's literally like um renting the movie inception but like you're starring in it like i'm down for that because whenever i do dream it's always lucid always it's never not i'm always I've never had a lucid dream ever, ever? i mean I've, I've i've had like crazy like vivid ones like there's this one where i had a i <laughs> fucking stroke right now um <laughs> i uh <laughs> um there's this one dream that i had that uh um i woke up and i went to go pee and I went to go like pull down my pants, pull out my dick, and I didn't have a dick, and it was a vagina. You're like, what do I do? I'm like, Whoa, what the <laughs> fuck? And that was like the most like mind blowing, like mind blowingly real dream. It wasn't because like lucid's like you have control over it, right? You have like you're like you're like living, but you're you're not in reality. You're sleeping, and you're aware that you're sleeping, right? For the most part, I think so, yeah. So for when I, I mean, when I experience it, I can't change the dream I'm in. Like, I can't, like, just snap my fingers and I'm not where I am. Uh But I have control over my behaviors in the dream, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like, I won't fully understand until I lose the dream. I used to be so, like, balls deep in that. Like, I I would look up sleep studies and, um, like, people have entire channels on YouTube for teaching people how to lucid dream and like what to do. Like there's like the wild method, like wake induced lucid dream. And there's like, um, filed or something like that where it's like, you like have some sort of like thing you do throughout the day. Um, whenever something like an event happens. So if you, if you walk through like a bathroom door, every time you knock on that bathroom door or something like that, and then, when you dream and you walk through a bathroom door you knock and then you realize you're like oh i only do this in real life and then you're like all of a sudden it like you're like wow i'm dreaming right now because you like you know it's kind of like having a totem in inception where you only pull it out to like check or whatever and then you run to the mirror because apparently if you look in the mirror it's like being on shrooms like you don't know what the fuck your face looks like and it's all morphed and fucked up which i'm very scared of I have had the thing uh, like that where they say to find a clock or look at a clock or look at a watch, and mm-hmm. usually the numbers are all fucked up. I haven't seen that before, but I don't know what it is. There's like usually a moment where I'm just like, this doesn't fucking add up, and I'm just like, this is bullshit, but I'll just keep winging it because, you know, you're dreamland. Yeah. It's weird. It's Man. weird. I don't know. Jealous. Yeah, do that. I mean... Just fucking get into it. Well, I mean, you'll probably have a hard time falling asleep um, if you stop smoking... Because I used to smoke every night before I go to bed. I mean, it was a little before I'd go to bed because, like, I wanted to be really high before eating dinner because fucking munchies is the best. Um, right. <laughs> and uh, and that would always, like, knock me out after. But um, it was hard for me to fall asleep after I um, stopped smoking every night. What if I take melatonin to fall asleep while I'm doing the off nights? Because I don't think melatonin suppresses dream stuff. No, people... I don't think. People claim to have weird dreams with melatonin too. Any kind of sleep medication, even if it's like holistic or, or like or naturopathic or whatever the buzzword is. Um, yeah. Have you tried melatonin? Oh yeah, I have. Uh, I actually okay. So through my naturopath, I get access to this like fancy website for all different kinds of supplements and stuff. And she shouldn't have given me full reign because I could get anything. And that's, I like little experiments on myself. So it's shocking. I haven't just like had buckets of shit come through the front door. Just like all these random fucking supplements that I think will do something, but Mm -hmm. I'm overthinking it. Um, but yeah, so we have the instant ones and then we have the extended release. Extended release is amazing, but 
because like I can only I sleep usually pretty hard for like a short amount of time and then I'm like ding and I'm not the kind of person who can like lay in bed and look at Twitter like I can't I'm like hit the floor what am I doing like I'm going downstairs like I'm going to coffee and fucking whatever like I just gotta be like I can't just like fuck around in bed no I, that's I don't know why I'm 100% the same kind of person I'm 100% that bitch <laughs> Like, I I have, like, light insomnia or, like, insomnia the free trial. Like, I'm not, <laughs> like, I'm not, like, losing, like, sleep to the point. I mean, I I have some, some Gucci bags under my eyes. But, like, I mean, concealer and whatever fixes that. But um, I'm not, like, losing, like, I'm not getting, like, under five hours a, a night or whatever. But when I wake up, it's usually, like, unfortunately early. But I can't stay in bed. You know, like yeah, I start I my day either. as soon as I wake up because I can't go back to bed. And um, yeah, I don't nap either. I don't like me naps. Either. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy for the people that are in the nap gang. I just I'm jealous. I don't know. I literally follow a nap account on uh, Instagram, and okay, I'm laughing about it, but I understand that there's like it's very powered by social justice, and you it sounds insane, but when you look into it and you look through the stuff. It's fire, but it's also, like, it makes a lot of sense. But it just, like, it's all about, like, rest and, like, taking naps and, like, fuck the man because they're the one making you feel like you have to be so productive all the time. And it is all that shit, but, like, I kind of love it. Like, I'm I, not going to take a nap, but I'm, like, thank you for supporting me, you know? Like, yeah, I think, I think I'm in, sometimes. I think I'm in love with that idea. Maybe I need, him. Maybe I need, like, a purpose to have a nap because it's, like, you know, you've always been, like, shown by society that when like somebody like naps and they lay around all day they're just lazy so oh, i think yeah. like in my brain like picks that up as like a negative stigma like um oh, yeah. and for survival like like subconsciously <laughs> my brain's like don't fucking nap or else you're gonna be like too lazy to i don't know fucking breathe um yeah maybe i should check that out um i mean it's pretty amazing it's called the nap ministry so you can check it out on Instagram, it's sick. Um, yeah, shout out. It's like it's in, you're gonna read it. And you're gonna be like, "Fuck, I need to take more breaks." Like, I just need to like let loose. Like, you're you're like not even working, and you're gonna be like, "Yeah, I've done a lot today. I just need to <laughs> no, I take don't a load need off, put my feet up." Like, <laughs> oh my god, that actually would be the worst thing for me because I take too many fucking breaks. Like <laughs> this quarantine, come on. I don't need any, like, I don't need, like, purpose behind my breaks. I need to feel like <laughs> shit for taking a break because, you know what? If I'm, like, going back and laying down at my bed watching TikToks for, like, five hours, it's like, mm, <laughs> why am I there? What am I doing? What have I done to deserve this? You're just filling yourself full of input, and that's the, those are the stupid words that in my head I'm talking to myself about. Like, there's input and output. Output's like creative expression, shit you have to like do that doesn't really have a construct, whatever, like free, whatever. And then input is like shoving ideas and shit and images in your brain. Yeah. And uh, I think that's just what TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and shit are, but I mean, it makes me happy. TikTok's wholesome in my opinion. Yeah. It's, I mean, I've noticed, uh, like, an influx of people calling TikTok toxic, but I'm like, have you been on Twitter? What have do you, you been mean on, by like, that? What does that even mean? Like, I don't toxic know. because, like, something about China, or is it, like... I don't, I don't, I really don't know. Because the thing is, is, like, with TikTok, you could have zero followers, and you post, I don't know, like, a video of you just, like you know making coffee with your shit stock cold brew and you know and it, it's kind of cute you know you probably have like a cute outfit on or whatever and like you get like a few hundred views you get like like 50 faves and you have all these comments being like oh my god like love this love that like oh my god i'm totally gonna try this but like on twitter it's like you post something like really meaningful like say you've been working on a project for a while and or like a drawing or something and you post that drawing and like literally no engagement nobody talks about it there's no spread and then if anything you get like really weird 
like backhanded comments <laughs> yes. and it's just like what the fuck am i on here They're for like, like i don't want to be rude but like did you ever think about like an and rude criticism that has nothing to do with the point yeah yeah, yeah. well i feel like i mean if you apply that to instagram what that ends up being is i feel like just a bunch of uh dudes who are honestly probably fake accounts and stuff but like dudes who are in other countries just like not knowing english and that that was like i mean that's not the point but like hey beautiful fly to see me come to my country you know like i'll support you or something and i'm like okay i appreciate that but can you support me emotionally yeah because we're crazy so yeah i don't i don't need i don't need any kind of like validation from somebody physically i need somebody to retweet my, my tweet I need somebody to yeah. like my post I just want like an agent I don't want the agent to do anything I just honestly want him to like control my life well that's not it not control it but like just provide me opportunities and support me and do all the admin stuff that I don't want to do yeah just like dumb paperwork of being an adult I don't know what that even would be or what I'm referring to but I feel like an adult is paperwork like I have a printer what the I know. What the fuck am I doing? You have a printer? I have a printer. Yeah. And it's got a scanner. I print pictures out with it sometimes. Like, yeah, it's fucking legit. It's a great brand. It's eco friendly. Um, I can't even remember the last time I've used a scanner. I don't know how to use it. (laughs) I know how to like lift it up, but I'm like, what am I going to put in there? I might put a picture of Dylan in there. (laughs) Yeah. Oh my God. Have you ever done like the scan your ass? Is that like a thing still? I think Do you remember that where people it. used to like scan? Oh shit? yeah, that like, was like a scan that was a nineties thing. Yeah, that was a nineties thing. Oh, that's so fun! I should do that and then like give it to Dylan in like a really nice Manila folder. I don't have Manila folders, but I do have all kinds of envelopes, stamps. I have a whole bin for stationery. And it, sorry, it's like it's huge. It's unnecessary. Why do I have so much of it? I don't know. I just think I I always think like, what if I want to send something in the mail? I mean, I it have, makes sense. It's practical. I just, like... But how I, old like, am I? Said 55? That. 60? 80? How old are people who send shit? Like, I have nothing in no... I just It just seems kind of silly. I have prepaid... Um, what is it? Those, like, envelopes that have, like, the cushy shit in there so it doesn't break stuff? Oh. I have prepaid ones of those. Like, I just was at UP or the Postal Service at one point, or whatever the fuck. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll take 10. Oh my god, you know what this reminds me of? What is this for? I just have them. What? This is literally like my office supplies fetish when I was younger. Like I was so Oh my god, I think (laughs) I think we found another connection, like another like wavelength we can ride. Because when I was younger, um all I would do is um so like we'd go um we go with our like aunt, uncle or whatever, um, to spend time with them, spend time with the family. We go to um, Walmart and they'd buy us a toy or whatever. And then they'd bring us to McDonald's and then take us home or whatever, watch a movie. Um, but every time I'd go to Walmart, I would always go to the office supplies section. You're such and an I, adult. You for sure I, felt like an adult for sure. I, I was literally a boomer when I, when I was like nine, <laughs> like Jesus Christ. But like, I used to oh get the, the really cool, like Japanese mechanical pencils and then like the gel pens and and I had like binders for days and stickers and shit and I was more organized when I was nine years old <laughs> than I was the entirety of my college career. Like what is even in like like I just don't I can't really grasp like what any of that shit was for for you at that point in time. So when you're nine I mean, did you have, like, file folders, or was it more like you just had all the supplies for, like, I don't even know. Like, what was it no, for? I, what was your intent? I had, so I had my own little, like, um, like, f- like file, like, drawer thing. Um, and I also had one of the to-go ones. Like, I was going to some fucking business meeting when I was nine. <laughs> I, I have the one where, it like, it, it's, like, um, like, an accordion. Yeah. And it had, like, a bunch of, like, slots and shit. <laughs> Everything was empty. The drawer was empty. That was empty. I don't know why I had it, you know? I Why wasn't I a normal kid that just played with fucking Hot Wheels? Instead, I was playing with, like, manila folders and, like, 
I don't know. We're preparing for your future. Just like lots of business and lots of business communications. And then you realize like you're regular. No, you're not. You're like, you're like, oh shit. I thought I was a businessman, but I'm actually a creative. So all this shit's pointless. Damn. I feel like that's what happened to me. I feel like Dylan actually has all that stuff and uses it all. And I love it because it feels like. I can, he'll continue, like, he buys gel pens and all kinds of shit. Like, I mean, he's a teacher, so he needs all that. But I feel like I ride that wave of him actually needing it. And I go, oh, yeah, I think I need it, too. And then I'll end up buying complimentary shit to the shit he has. And I'm just like, it looks good. But, <laughs> like, I don't have, I mean, I do hair. What the fuck am I going to do with all this shit? What am I going to do with my accordion folder? I, it's in I my feel drawer. like. My organizer drawer for different kinds of paper for the printer <laughs> yeah can you tell me like a single door. fucking file like what like tell me like one of your organization methods okay like, do you even have any <laughs> in okay in one time and i i don't remember where i bought this i'm looking at it it's this printer on like a table thingy like an end table and then below it i have like it's i think it's like three thinner drawers and then two mm-hmm. bigger ones. And the very bottom is, like, all my taxes and old taxes. Like, I'm 31, but the taxes aren't fucking complicated for me. I mean, most of them are on TurboTax. So, like, what are you, what am I even putting in there? I don't know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the drawer above is all the paper, like, for the printer. Okay, I have different colored cardstock. What am I doing with cardstock? I don't know. I just bought it. And I it's went, oh, these colors paper. look good. It was me at Michael's. This is just like, dude, dumb shit I buy. So I've got, um, I think, six or seven different, like, color options of cardstock. It's pretty, but, like, what the fuck? And then I've got printer paper. And then I've got the old school, like, lined paper. I don't even think it's college ruled. I think it's, like, the really thick lines. Like, I can't draw an A, so I draw it huge, you know? Mm-hmm. So I've got that for some reason. I've got... Um, two or three different sizes of uh, printer paper for like or printer paper for like photos mm-hmm. and different like um, some is glossy some's matte but anyways I'm not printing a fuck ton of pictures this is actually okay this is embarrassing this is uh, something I do okay you know how you see like inspirational shit on Instagram or like quotes that have cute little background colors or whatever the fuck or cute yeah. fonts and stuff okay yeah. so sometimes I'll screenshot that and then crop it and I'll print it what? And then I'll put it in this notebook that I have, and I'll just shove it in the side thing, because I'm not really going to do anything with it, and I have all this other shit in there that I just kind of, like, liked, and I went, I'm going to put it in a notebook. So I have a notebook. It's so fucking stupid. Like, if you were flipping through it, you'd be like, oh, this book, she must be official, or maybe she's a college girl, because you're, like, seeing this notebook with all this random shit in it. Then you mm-hmm. open it, and you're like, she has no future. Like, I feel like that's what you... <laughs> <laughs> It you like you really start happy. you start seeing less and less <laughs> like meaning and correlation and to to all of this you're like with each like printed out piece of paper you're, they're like oh okay she's probably like she's got some templates for some sort of project <laughs> she's working on templates um, I they'll just know I have existential dread and that I'm struggling <laughs> with it and so a lot of these printout things make me feel better about the fact that like I'm gonna die one day which I'm okay with but. Yeah, it's just like crazy. It's so dumb. It's so so embarrassing. So I print that on printer paper, not yeah. pictures. Printer oh. paper is expensive. Um, or the sorry, photo paper. I can't even talk. Yeah. So that's my um, embarrassing story. Not even that embarrassing, but it's facts. I feel like this office chat, this like office supplies chat, is like got me hot and bothered like my brain is glossing over i'm losing the blood in my body and it's going straight to my dick no i um oh, i feel man. like i feel like at some point in time this this like office shit for me and you like it happened but like why <laughs> you know like like did our parents think that like you know they're like oh my god i'm gonna have i'm gonna have one rich son one rich son one day just you wait. He likes to play with the binder. He likes the five <laughs> ring. You know what? I think I... Okay, tell me if you thought this way about yourself. Okay, so I have this huge bin of photos, right? It's from my mom. It's got tons and tons and tons of pictures in it. It's so jam-packed. It's taken me like 
four or five days to just go through it all. Just mm-hmm. to throw away random shit that's still in this bin. Okay, it's huge. It's fucking whatever. In looking at those and looking at my face and facial expressions and all these pictures, honestly, I either look lost, like I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing for the picture, so I'm looking at whoever's next to me to see what they're doing. And I remember the thought I had. I remember going, like, what am I supposed to be doing? You know? Because yeah. a lot of kids are like, ah, or like doing, I don't know who does that as a pose. But anyway, the cute poses, smiling normal. And for me, I'm just kind of like, like most of the time, like mouth open. Like, but horrible. <laughs> anyway, <over> it. <laughs> I think I thought I was a lot more serious. And it's not that I wanted to be taken serious, but I felt like I was an embodiment of a serious kid. Mm-hmm. And it's, um, it just, it felt like, I still feel like that sometimes. And then I realized, like, I treat everything like a joke, so I'm not really that serious. But, um, yeah, did you think you were a serious kid? Or, like, um, you took things seriously? I feel like I was pretty mature at a younger age. Definitely. Um, I was definitely weird as fuck, but I used my, like... <laughs> weird or, like, eccentric? <laughs> like, there's, like, that, like, eccentric that's, like, ooh, who is she? Who is he? You know, like, it's kind of yeah. intriguing. The eccentric nature, to me, was pure chaos. Like, it wasn't it wasn't good. It was, like, oh, do they need medication? <laughs> um, <laughs> my mom thought I was on the spectrum. And, really? Okay. To her defense... I mean, there really isn't any because I don't, and I didn't. I don't think I elicited any of the things that teenagers and kids or really anyone on the spectrum has. Like, Mm -hmm. okay, so I think she thought this because I didn't like my food touching and I was fucking weird about it. And I know lots of people are. It's a super common thing, but I wouldn't eat if it was it was touching. I was like, this is fucking problematic. And now I'm still pretty weird about it, but it's fine. Um, And then I just sometimes I just felt like. Like, I wish I was wearing something else. I'll just wait in the van till this shit's over. It'd be like a reunion or like a family thing. We'd be on vacation and we'd be going to visit family somewhere. And I'm just like, I don't feel dressed right. I'm just going to stay in the car. And it would be 110 degrees outside. What the fuck am I doing in this, like, wind star? When everyone's literally at the house we're supposed to be at, they're all outside. And I'm just like, I just feel uncomfortable. I'm just going to sit in here and fucking brood. Like, you had some, I don't like. Know. Like I feel it's like weird. almost, almost it's almost like not spectrum but like diva complex. You know, like you had it your wasn't full on diva. It wasn't like I wish I was dressed better. It was like, um, okay, you know, little kids, right? Five or six, they wear swimsuits when they go swimming or whatever, and they usually wear them after the fact, whatever. It's a kind of a vacation vibe. I would feel like. I'm not supposed to be wearing this at this place we're going next. Like, I, I need something else to wear over this. Like, I need a little cover-up. Like, I just felt like, again, I'm older and I'm mature, and I'm 45 or 50 in a tiny person's body, and <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like, fuck. Like, I was, like, kind of mad. Like, <laughs> you were you were mad. You were mad for yourself, like, yes. for your future self to remember the memory of that. It's like I was expecting my future self to be like, oh, shit, sorry, here, I forgot about this. And I'm just like, thank you. Like, yeah. with an attitude. Yeah. Like, it made no sense. I but think you were same... just a little too aware as a kid. Yeah. Oh, big time. And the weird yeah. thing is I still am, like, hyper aware. But it's... I don't know. It's like my peripherals never go off. Mm-hmm. They're always on. Doesn't yeah. mean I'm, like, staring and focused at all the things in my vision. But, like, they're never off. Like, I'm always aware of the things in my peripherals. Like, you're not, you're not fully immersed. You're, like... You're 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 always aware of like what's going on in the background. It's kind mm-hmm. of like um, when I tell you like what, where is your tongue in your mouth? You know, then you start to think about like where is my tongue in my mouth? How am I holding it when my mouth is closed? And then you like, and then it starts tripping you up. But like, it's kind of like that. It's like once you're aware of your peripherals, it's like it never shuts off because it's like now I can always see my peripherals. And it sounds yeah. stupid, but I totally understand you because it's like yeah. you're you're very like over aware. Yeah. 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 Oh, big time, especially at work. But I think I, maybe I just notice it. Maybe people notice it at work because um, I'll make a reference to something someone does all the time, but they don't know that they do it. And, and it's mm-hmm. not like I want to embarrass them. I'll just like make a backhanded comment about it or I don't know. We talk shit I'm like, God, you, you always see everything. And I'm just like, what? I don't I, I don't I just don't get how other people aren't on that wavelength. Yeah. But that also explains all my weirdness as a kid, because it is weird. 
I mean, and okay, so here's the other thing about me being a kid and like my mindset. And this has not changed. It has only become so strong that I think it's problematic. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I had rules in my head. I was always making rules for like the way I think things should be. And I lived by them, but I didn't care to communicate them. So again, food shouldn't be touching. And the only reason that got brought up is because my mom would be like, fucking eat your dinner. I'd be like, no. Um, But I didn't like wearing shoes. It seemed unnecessary. I Mm -hmm. mean, even after the point where I stepped on a rusty nail that was like in a piece of wood or some shit like in my backyard and they, I mean, it went straight through my toe, everything. And I was young. It's at that point, I still was like, I don't see the point in shoes. Like, I just am not about that life. And I would, okay, there's a point we went to the airport, my family and everything to go to the Midwest to see my mom's family, whatever. And we get to the airport. My mom goes, we're about to get out of the van. We had drove from Mount Lake Terrace to Seattle, whatever. And uh, she goes, where are your shoes? I go, what do you mean? Like, I didn't bring You went any. to the airport <laughs> without shoes on? I had a suitcase and we had all our shit and I didn't bring any shoes. None. I was like, why would I? Let's well, you know what? I have you to take them off anyway with TSA. Yeah. <laughs> she was so pissed. Oh, you were fuck. just like five head, you know, you were like thinking, thinking in the future. You're like, yeah, I'm going to have to take stuff. these bitches off and put them back on. Fuck that. That's always that's awkward when you have to do that, you know? I just thought it was so fucking dumb and I didn't want to wear shoes. So I, I just was like, why would I? This looks fucking what? awful. This is delicious as fuck, but like that looks wrong. That looks so yikes. Sorry, I'm just analyzing my cold brew. That's how my uh, pumpkin it's cream like cold brew looked earlier. Like just shit congealing. all over the sides. It's got like an ecosystem on the side of the cup. It's like, <laughs> fuck. And I drank that and enjoyed that. Maybe I mean, that's why I feel fucking loopy right now. Cause like you know, I'm drinking some weird. Like, cup Wait, do you virus. make your do you make your cold brew like really strong, or do you keep it like regular concentrated? Strong? Okay. Definitely concentrated. Yeah. I don't I, I like mean, that that cold brew that's cut with water. It's like I don't want like coffee flavored water. I want It's too smooth. I don't coffee. like it. Yeah. I want cold brew. Yeah. yeah. No ice. At least for me. Yeah, black. Yeah. Just thick cold brew. <laughs> yeah. Um I had a question I was thinking about earlier. Oh, I remember. Okay. I don't know how this is going to come out. Let's see if I can do it without using the word like or literally. Oh, Um, shit. I haven't been paying attention. I forgot. (laughs) But here we are again. I mean, it's fine. Okay. So when it comes to I'm going to use the the phrase like self-care products. So that's broad, right? Super broad. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's like skincare. There's hair care. There's whatever the fuck self-care even is. Um, Do you think... You know how it evolves, right? Like it evolved, it just has in decades and stuff. Do you think, okay, so where we are right now in the world and self-care and blah, 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 pandemic aside, I don't really, I don't really care, but do you think it's going to go more in the natural direction or is it going to go more scientific techie direction where it's like a little bit overcomplicated? Um, It's definitely going to get chemical as fuck because if you think about it, like as much as natural shit works and it's and it's good um it can only go so far so like for instance if we're gonna get like really fucking into it um my my skin's like overly sensitive um my even my like scalp or whatever um i i was using a uh, a shampoo because my head was so unbelievably like dry and itchy and like it hurt a lot um and i used the best shampoo you could buy that's like a vegan all natural if you turn it to the back it's just a bunch of root extracts and a bunch of like oil that's it and yeah and and so (laughs) i (laughs) and so i like spent all of this money on that like horrible shampoo and conditioner and it just like made my head so much worse but i um went to a dermatologist um they gave me a prescription shampoo and conditioner and like literally within two days just completely gone all that shit gone i have no issues and then also like you know if you have like acne or if you have like other skin conditions like there's stuff that like benzyl peroxide and 
Retin A or, or more specifically like um, tretinoin or whatever, retinol or whatever, that shit like cure, it, it's like a cure-all for like a ton of different things. You know, it's like anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. Um, there are, I mean, people will use like, like prescribed acne medis- medicines for like things that aren't acne, like non-acne issues. True. And I feel like, it? I feel like, yeah, I'm just I'm start chugging. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there aren't any like natural remedies that work like that, you know, like they're like natural remedies are like. It's, it's kind of like calling green tea, like, anti-inflammatory. It's like, okay, you break your leg, are you going to drink green tea to, like, stop the inflamed, like, you know, muscle tissue from, you know what I mean? It's like, no, you're going to take the medication you need. But, so I think, I think the more, like, we refine certain chemicals that are, like, safe for our body, like, I'm okay with it. I mean, because that's the most promise now... I don't think like chemicals are always the answer, but I think that like we'll definitely get better at doing that. You know, we'll definitely refine it to where like um, less, you know, um, less harm, more good, essentially. I feel like it's. Uh, I mean, obviously, I think it's obvious. Everything is a little bit of both. I think, but yeah. I agree with that. But the retinol or the the tret whatever word that thingy is um i think that's concentrated vitamin a or either whether it's synthetic or or synthetic or real i think it's just concentrated vitamin a yeah no i think you're right which sort of you know sort of which is like totally like like (laughs) invalidating everything (laughs) i just like rambled about that's okay like Honestly, no, how many times? How many right times though. did I say like during that? You know, am I gonna have to cut the whole thing? <laughs> I mean, I was mesmerized, hypnotized, so I couldn't count. I was just like blacked out, really. I told you. Um. <laughs> I, told you I told you it's the my frequencies, man. But I think so you're. I think you think? you're right with like. Uh, there I go again. I always said it. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I think, like, okay problems people have with their self, like the problems areas in their self care shit. I think that's going to get a little more science-y or mm-hmm. whatever, chemical something. But I think the shit that isn't so much an issue, I think is going to go way down to natural. Because, like, it's just as far as, like, home goods. There's, like, the things that I have around my home. Like, for cleaning, for, um, I don't know, basically cleaning is all I can think of. Laundry shit. Like, I just use the most natural stuff because I'm sensitive and, like, you know, everything makes me itchy. And my boyfriend mm-hmm. cannot hear that enough. Like, he hears it constantly. I think he probably just wants to dump lava on me and be like, does that work? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's yeah. some chemical things that I just can't let go of. Like, okay, I'm big and I'm, I make this, I will make this a fucking argument between me and um, Mr. Pickle. Uh, Okay, so whenever there's a new eco-friendly thing I find on the internet, fucking whatever, it usually costs three times the amount of anything else. And I'm just like, this is what we're using. And if we go back to a chemical after we start this natural version, like, we're breaking up. We're breaking up. And that's just what it's going to be. But here's the thing. There are some things that are so fucking artificial that I'm addicted to and I just love. And I just rely on them and I'm just like, nothing's going to do it better. Here's an example. Uh, OxyClean. Yeah. Yeah. I buy a box from Costco that's huge and I use it in every load and I think I'm probably killing fish or doing something awful, but I just believe in it, man. It helps with the delicates and it cleans (laughs) them better and I just... It's like, (sighs) you know, kill the fish or get killed by your um, your boy. Or have deodorant stains on your shirt. Like, it gets rid of those. So, I don't know. I'm a big fan. (laughs) I feel really bad about it. (laughs) Definitely. It's definitely like a push and a pull. It's like, you That's know, what give is. and take. I, I, I mean, so I um, had uh, chronic daily migraines. Um, it was like uh, diagnosed by a doctor forever ago. Um, they, they said they could either, either give me a um, mild epileptic medication, seizure medication, um, which I, I don't have epilepsy, but like um, it, in lower doses, I guess it can like, you know, um, disrupt That's the, one the I used cycle to be on. of, yeah. Um, yeah. Or there's this thing called Butterbur. Um, it's, uh, I think it's like Petadolex or something. It's like some kind of herb 
that um, is known to disrupt that cycle as well. And I'm just like, um, is it like go on some like like crazy medication that like I like you know I, I don't have epilepsy, uh, I don't have seizures, so it's like, do I take that medication or do I like chew on some herb? It's like I'm about to fucking take the herb first. And honestly, like it worked. I don't have like crazy migraines anymore. And so, like, I do think huh. people should consider the natural option, but, like, oh, yeah. like me, it's, like, I tried the vegan shit for my hair, and it made it worse, and then I tried chemicals, and it made it better, so. kind of like just needs to get their shit together with shampoos, yeah. I think. God, I tried a natural shampoo. I told you about this, right? There was, like, Maybe. a natural-ish shampoo. I mean, I ordered it on Instagram. I was, like, excited about it. It's overpriced, but that's fine. I get it, and I'm just like, this is going to go so good. Like, I have a couple clients that use it. They love it, whatever. And uh, it smells horrible. Like, (laughs) I'm not saying patchouli horrible, because I've been there. Like, I use all kinds of natural body shit, but it smells so fucking awful. It's And I'm not saying, like, it smells like dog shit or mold or, (laughs) like, like a natural shitty smell. Like, an artificial shitty smell. Like, it smells Mm -hmm. like... Have you ever had to, like, like you're with your mom or something, and she's like, oh, give so-and-so a hug. She's, you know, your great aunt so-and-so. And you're just like, oh, okay, probably smells like an old lady, like Estee Lauder products or yeah. something like that. And you smell her, and you're just like, I just don't like that at all, and I want to puke. <laughs> <That's-> <laughs> you can, like, smell the decaying skin on the product. Yeah, it just smells like the smells worst like- old lady perfume in the world. 